Best K-Roll in the world? Probably Ben Gold from Australia. I believe he has the best results overall. Although Kirby Kids are probably the second best. Oh god. This damage output is just so good. Interesting recovery mix-up by Mage. Did he hold up on his controller there? Interesting option. Dude, that... Those combos off of down are so scary now. Great mix-up by Kirby Kid, though. Securing stock one in what I have to assume is probably a challenging matchup. Kirby Kid kind of nice. Not gonna lie. I think that shield stabbed. Either way, super good call out for mage. Notice how he specifically delayed up smash just enough to let shield whittle down a little bit more so he could secure that stock. Excellent weight on that up smash. That new belly armor buff, though. It's made it a little easier for him to just bulldoze through a lot of hitboxes now. Crown abuse! Man, that looks so hard for to get around to. That seriously worked? Oh my god. Excellent call out on Mage's movement though. He made sure not to get let him get any extra credit though. With an excellent call out on the grounded approach with back air. Jesus. 62 damage. One neutral conversion. This is looking really close though all of a sudden. Kirby Kid's one good hit from being able to secure that. But Mage had an excellent read on Kirby Kid's drift, calling it out with back air and sealing game one. In a lot of ways, Jay Hank, yes, King K rules belly is better defense than his shield. You can just body block a lot of things. Yeah, Kirby Kid's great at Amaralis. Looks like they're just running it back, but after this, we're going to have JTJ versus Edgy Knight, local Georgia Meta Knight slash Isabel, who uh, upset Hungrybox. And then after that will be Mr. E versus someone. Unknown yet. I'm amazed that Mage has not been able to get that he hasn't gotten downered yet. His recovery mix up has just been so good. That new belly armor changes 
That might have worked free patch, but it's still just such a nice thing to be able to rely on it that much more. Excellent up smash call out by Kirby Kid. He's looking pretty solid after uh, game one. Is that gonna hit? Oh my god, Kirby Kid's adaptation this game. Dude, he's moving. That belly armor, though. Been a lifesaver in so many ways. Dude, he just, did he just go for the, the quick play cheese? Oh my god. Some of these things Kirby Kid are going for. Wild. Dude, that up throw does so much damage. Excellent call out on the drift though, and Kirby Kid with a dominant game too. Putting himself in just the possession he needs to maybe clutch out this set. Although I have to wonder what uh, he's gonna ban. He's probably gonna want more space if I had to guess. Is the best way to get better to just to play a bunch of small attorneys, Jason? It's certainly a respectful way of going about it. The best way is to play, obviously, in person when you can, but since that's not really an option, playing a lot of online tournaments is great. Alright, so Mage chose Battlefield for Game 3. I have to imagine he's going to be specifically trying to maximize a lot of his platform combos and live a little bit longer. He's probably confident in his ability to edge guard. To compensate for however, however Kirby Kid tries to recover. Even though K. Rule has a decent amount of ways he can mix up his recovery, it's still fairly linear. Really? That clanked? Wow, I've never seen that before. Oh my god. That up air is so freakishly strong. It's like... It's like a vertical knee of justice. You just delete people. Dude, these callouts on mages' options and disadvantage are nasty. Great double jump call out there. Yeah, Kirby Kid got a little bit greedy with uh, the vacuum there, but wasn't able to quite work out. And that new 8.0 dash attack buff coming in clutch. Kirby Kid has secured a very solid lead for himself at this point. Kirby Kid looking real nice. Speaking of looking real nice, though, Mage with an enormous combo to bring it back just a bit.
that hit? Dude, he, he raised him with the chin. Well played, Kirby Kid, though. What a turnaround after struggling a bit game one.